Welcome. We are celebrating Juneteenth and Father's Day. And I'm just going to do a little vlog that's going to take you through the weekend and see some of the things that we've done. So, if you're interested, stay tuned. I need all the exercise I can get today. So that's the reason why I'm starting and I'm walking through my neighborhood and just enjoying the, the low temperatures because I know it's going to be extremely hot today. Now, it has been a busy week and I'm going to take you through some of the things that we've done. So we're going to do a little planning, we've done a little shopping, and all of those things are going to bring us into our Juneteenth and Father's Day celebration. After walking, we absolutely needed to take care of going to the grocery because we didn't do any cooking earlier in the week and um, I'm planning for the grandkids to get to come sometime or another this week and so I needed to pick up a few things. Plus, I needed to have everything ready for Juneteenth. So, this is what we did. So I'm just going to kind of give you a quick view. I'm going to absolutely speed you through this process. We went to Walmart and uh, once we left Walmart and got home, the big guy went outside to do lawn work and I needed to take care of the kitchen and get everything in place. Well, I thought I would kind of organize some of this, but I don't have enough space. I have uh, multiple heads of lettuce, and uh, that's because the big guy and I are trying to, I'm pushing you back, are trying to clean up our diet. And so each day we're gonna have a big salad. So when you have a big salad, you need lots of greens. So. I have three heads of lettuce, and the lettuce look great. Now the celery, not so much. I also brought some, bought some broccoli slaw, because I like to sprinkle about a half cup of broccoli slaw in my salad, and that helps to uh, give you some texture when you're fixing your salad. Uh, we have green peppers, I'm taking these out, because I want them to be dry, have a low humidity in the uh, refrigerator, eggs, you know, I love Eggland's Best, but they didn't have Eggland's Best, so I had to get just the Great Value Walmart brand, so that's what we're going to work with. They, we have been eating the Walmart Rockfish. Oh my goodness, it is so good when you, um, you can either grill it or, as you've seen, I'll oven fry it. And, we, and either way, it comes out nice and crispy, and it's just delicious. So uh, rockfish, we made sure we had plenty of rockfish because knowing Walmart after a while, you may not be able to find it. I also got shrimp because it's, the big guy like shrimp on the Barbie. So uh, we have that. In addition, some almond breeze. I'm not going to be drinking that, but the big guy well for his cereal. And we got celery. You know, the strange thing about the celery, you would think that we would start to get some fairly nice looking celery, but it wasn't very nice looking. It was just kind of puny. So we had to take what we could get, select the best that we could find, and uh, go with it. So I am going to get all of this put into the, the drawers and into the refrigerator so that... Uh, we will have the vegetables we need in place. Okay, so let's get things into the refrigerator. I'll, I'll speed this part up because, uh, needless to say, that part you already know. You know what to do with vegetables and the, all their goodies. So I'm just putting things into the fridge and uh, getting those kind of things ready. It's pretty much in good shape. I love this grapefruit method. My daughter-in-law turned me on to it. Man, it's the only thing I want to use. 
But you know what? It's hard getting the refill now because uh, the refill bottle, I guess because of COVID, they haven't gone to the larger sizes yet, or at least not where I can find them at a, re at a somewhat reasonable price. So uh, they are available, but you know, some people are selling them for ungodly prices. Well, my friends, I'm starting us out looking at last week, and we're doing a little planning and trying to get through this week, and also thinking about the upcoming holiday because July 4th is just around the corner. Now, you'll notice, I want you to look over on this side. Notice I do not have any menu plans for the 15th through the 19th, and that's because during that time, we just stepped away and took a little little breather with family, and uh, so I didn't I didn't film and didn't cook, and so I was uh, a happy girl for a few minutes. So it gave me a chance to just relax. It really wasn't until I came back and started to prepare for Juneteenth that we actually and Father's Day, by the way, that. Uh, I actually have things down and as you know from looking at hopefully by at this point you will have seen the video where we did greens and deviled eggs for Juneteenth and whatever leftovers were uh, around we handled those for Father's Day and we did Father's Day on uh, at my daughter's as well as Juneteenth now so for that reason if you remember and looking at this page we had nothing absolutely nothing and so when I came back I had to go to the store I needed a little bit of this little bit of that so while I was there we started to uh, pick up and you know do a few things so you'll see that our produce area is running over it is running over I'm gonna try to get you in pretty close so you can see and um, so we had a ton of produce and uh, the only uh, really what I call dry or baking goods that I picked up was uh, fish fry. Now, I needed eggs because I had used all my eggs for the deviled eggs. Uh, I, we needed yogurt and we needed some silk almond milk. Uh, we didn't need anything frozen because I have a freezer full of vegetables, so I'm good to go there. However, in the canned and bottled section, I needed some uh, Dale seasoning, some Mott's apple juice, and V8. And of course, most of that is for the big guy. Now, what we did, what I did want, and something I had gotten the week before was rockfish. And uh, oh my goodness, if you have not tried rockfish, you'll definitely want to do that. It is delicious. And it's a very, what I call hearty fish, in that uh, if it flakes well, um, it holds up to um, barbecuing, putting it on the grill, as well as I use it in my uh, oven frying. I also got some more raw shrimp and got some chicken thighs because I was out of those. And there's a chance that my kiddos may be coming, my grandkids. And so I wanted to make sure I had plenty of those for them. Miscellaneous things, whenever we go in the grocery store, we are always on the hunt for Clorox wipes. So we were able to find those. And um, we needed eyeglass cleaner because we've really been going through a lot of that with, you know, sunglasses and eyeglasses. And I found my treat, which was the LaCroix Limoncello. It is so refreshing. I like LaCroix, but this limoncello is just so good. They have blackberry, LaCroix, and um, I think one is a peach, if I remember. But the summer flavors have been absolutely delicious. So that takes care of this week. Now, to be honest with you, because we had so much going on on the weekend, I have not put down a menu. And, but what I have done is to start prepping my uh, menu, my grocery list for grocery curbside pickup. And so you'll see that I've gone through. 
I've actually written down the things I know for sure I'm going to need. And of course, I'll have a few things that I'll take off and add, but I've just taken the moment to put those things down that I know where I'm going to need to uh, replace. And as I put them on my list on Kroger, I just check them off so that I know that they're there. So my cart is ready for Kroger's. All I have to do is when I'm ready to pick it up, you know, to get it, then I can pick it up and it's good to go. Now for today, let me turn you down just a little bit and we're going to talk about what we're going to have today. Now I'm really only planning for the next two days and uh, that's going to be for Monday or Tuesday because the grandkids are going to be coming. So I like to let them plan for the time that they're here. So tonight we I'm going to have my big salad because that's something I do nightly. And the big guy has a, a medium salad while I'm doing the big salad. He wants to, uh, we're going to have grilled corn. And since he's going to turn on the grill, we're going to grill some fish as well as some stone fruit. There is nothing better than grilled stone fruit. And if you haven't done that, you'll want to try that out. Now for Tuesday, um, I'm probably going to do some Italian sausage enough for him and a little bit for me and I know of course you know we must have the big salad and uh, oops forgot sausages so that's an easy night and we'll probably just grill that out so like I said Wednesday Thursday and Friday are up in the air until the kiddos come and they'll plan exactly what it is that they want. Sunday I'm going to have of course my big salad but I'll let the big guy decide what he wants. For me the big salad is a nightly thing and I have it every night and it's filling, it's uh, refreshing and it's certainly healthy. Well guys, now's the time to work on those eggs. So let's see what we can do. Well first, I'm gonna pour the eggs. I've given them a few minutes to cool while we were prepping for the salad. So I'm gonna pour the water off. You see I have a strainer here, just in case. Someone decides to jump out. And of course, someone always jumps out. So I'm going to sit this, make sure it's not totally in your way, but yes it is. So I'm going to make a spot where I can get to the eggs and you can see. Now, the good thing about doing them this way is that they peel very easily. And I like just putting on cool water. In the midst of all of this, I started dinner and I'm preparing some uh, oven fried rockfish. And there's the big salad.
ready for dinner. Yum, yum, yum. So there's our fish. It's in the oven. Mm -hmm. It sounds and smells wonderful. And there it is on the plate. Well, guys, yesterday I cooked till I dropped. And uh, I finished up everything. The greens are, were done. I put them in the refrigerator overnight. So what we're about to do is the finish to our June Juneteenth preparation because I'm going to be taking all of this over to my daughters and that's where we're going to celebrate both Juneteenth and Father's Day. So if you're interested in what we're doing, keep watching. Now I've turned you down and you'll see my crock pot as well as the salad bowls and the container where the eggs are going to go. So I'm going to sit these off to the side. And, uh, you know, we did all the, the egg prep yesterday. So the only thing we have to do today is to actually pipe the, the doubled portion of the egg into those halves. So let's first get, it's bright and early this morning and uh, a little cloudy, but you know what? That's okay. So we're going to have liquid sunshine even if it rains. So I'm putting the, the greens into the crock pot. And of course, anyone who, who has cooked greens in their house, you know, they don't always smell that great, but you know what? They taste wonderful. So there's our mess. That's easy. So let's set that off to the side. Let me get a spoon or fork so we can just kind of shovel this around. Kind of get everything down into the pot. And if you remember, these are the greens that I, pre I prepped back in the fall where I had a friend who uh, as a farm brought me a case of greens and uh, I took half and my daughter got half so she has a larger family so needless to say her greens are gone where mine are still here okay greens are in the pot I'm going to get this the top on it going to put it in its plug-in location and we are going to let it come up. So I'm going to keep it on high for probably about two hours at least and then I'll turn it down on low and of course when I get to her house I'll just put it on warm. So greens check. Okay, paprika in place. Aren't they beautiful? And I even have an additional little container for the big guy later on. So we're going to take our wax paper. Like I said, I'm not sure if, you know, this is going to interfere with how they look, but at least I know that if they shift in the car, they're protected. So I'm going to take that and put the top on it. And we are ready. So these go into the refrigerator until time for us to leave. This travel salad was huge. You can see that I'm adding celery. I've got the lettuce in the bottom. I put a layer of uh, sliced celery. And then I'm going to add a layer of um, uh, shredded carrots that I did yesterday. And I'm just putting everything in. And then I'm going to take my hand and kind of push down on it. So there will be enough room for everybody and that the top will go on easily. Um, the onions are off to the side. Those are red onions and I, I'm not going to put all of the red onions in because everybody doesn't like onion. And uh, you don't want the rest of the salad smelling like onions because red, red onions have a tendency to be pretty strong. So I have cucumbers that I've sliced and... Uh, I'm just layering those in 
the layers are so nice so once I get there everything will be put into this salad bowl except the tomatoes I'm going to take the tomatoes in a separate container because tomatoes this acidity has a tendency to uh, turn the color of lettuce and so you'll see that I'm not going to put that in so there's our pile of onions in the center just to keep everything perfect and uh, it looks very nice and very colorful so that's going to be great our Juneteenth celebration was so much fun and I think the most fun of the whole thing was the fact that we spend the time with our grandkids and that's always a blessing so I hope that your um, day has been wonderful in addition to that let me say happy Father's Day to the fathers out there because I know the big guy in my house and my sons they are wonderful fathers and they take excellent care of their home their family and those around them and we want to take a moment to just say thank you for that effort and to the rest of you those of you who are family thank you so much for just hanging out and being a part of what's going on and for those of you who are new I hope that you will take the time to like and subscribe and be a part of the Ebony, Ivy, and Time family, where we work hard, we love God and family, and we know without a doubt that everything else is just gravy. I ask God every day to bless each of you, and I pray that you stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.